I muted myself this whole time, apparently. So we're going to do that again. We're going to start over because what I said was really great, but it's, you know, I can always just say it again. I apologize. <laughs> I mute myself before these because I don't want to be like talking in the background, but here we go. Welcome, my lovelies. Welcome to the Go Pure Glow Show. My name is Stephanie Classy. I'm a licensed clinical esthetician and the head of education here at Go Pure. And I'm so sorry I muted myself right off the bat. Um, you know, we're live. We're live. I mean, these things do happen. I'm just so excited because we're throwing a pajama party tonight to talk about so many fun things. So when you hop on, say hello. I see so many of you in the chat. Um, I know some of you are joining us on YouTube, on our website. Some of you are joining us on Facebook or right from our VIP group. So welcome, welcome everyone. Who's excited about the spring sale? And let me know who's done some shopping already. Who has grabbed that 25% off site-wide and nab some goodies? And drop in the chat what you have picked up on that spring sale already and who who has grabbed the newest addition to the go pure skincare family the 30 percent vitamin c dry oil and we're gonna get into all of the details of this but we have so many fun things to talk about um we have aaron our co-founder in the comments kaylee is supporting in the comments we have our incredible customer service team um so if i don't see your question or comment we have so many people there to support um and this is just going to be so much fun let me know if you've joined us live before we have i see people joining us from florida from canada from michigan um I'm joining us, us, me, us together from Denver, Colorado, where it's already so warm. I feel flushed right now because yes, this is a pajama party, but it's really warm. I see Flagstaff, Arizona, so many of you, California, welcome. We're going to have so much fun. So if you haven't already checked out on the GoPure website, we launched our spring sale and our VIPs got early access to not only the spring sale, but our newest product. So if you are not on our SMS list, and if you are not in that VIP group, you're going to want to join that VIP group because you always get first access to all of the funnest things. Um, but it is 25% off site wide, and it is with code spring 25. But what's really cool is that code will be auto applied at checkout. So we made it really easy for you all to get 20% off site wide, uh, you can get all the products, all the things as much as you want as many times as you want. And make sure you tell your friends as well. And while we're on the subject, I would love for you all to share this live share and comment because we're gonna be doing giveaways throughout this live too. But we did something really, really fun this time around because we didn't want anyone to miss this sale. We didn't want anyone to miss the incredible launch of the 30% vitamin C dry oil. So we did a giveaway leading up to this and we chose five winners to get this incredible PR box. And it is packed, 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 packed with some of the best Go Pure goodies, and it's this gorgeous box. So I'm going to start off the show announcing those winners, but never fear, throughout the live, we are going to be giving away not only, not only the new product, but at the end of the live, for those of you that are commenting, let us know that you share, share it so many times with all your friends. We're going to give away another one of those incredible PR boxes. So drop a comment, like, share all of the things if you want to win the new product. And if you want to stay tuned to have your chance to win one of those incredible, incredible PR boxes packed with so many Go Pure goodies. So I'm going to announce our five winners from um, what we did before to get you all here. So you have already, if you're a winner, you've already been contacted by customer service. So make sure you check your email so you don't miss it. So drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Donna Whalen. Arena Kushner, Gina Watts, Nichelle Jones, and Carla Nehans. You are the five winners 
that we put out on Instagram and all of those awesome places. But remember, we're still going to give away one more of those at the end of the show. So congratulations to you five. Thank you so much for participating in that. And if you enjoyed that, maybe we'll have to do fun things like that more often because that's so cool. And it's just such an amazing beauty goodie. And I still see so many more of you hopping on. Welcome, welcome. I'm, we're so excited to have you here announcing our newest product, the 30% vitamin C dry oil. We're going to get into all of the details, all of the details and the spring sale. Remember with code SPRING25, you can save 25% off site-wide so you can grab this incredible new product and then all of the products to go along with it to support your skin so you can feel confident in your skin every day and at every age. So who wants, who wants to know all about this oil? But I know what some of you are thinking. And in the comments, I want to know if you thought this. Who here thought, wait, Stephanie? You just launched a vitamin C product because we did. We just launched this incredible vitamin C booster powder. And who has this? So I know some of you must be thinking, maybe we've lost our marbles or we forgot we just launched this and we're launching another one. But I am here to just tell you why these are so different, why it's so important to have a variety of vitamin C. And I'm just going to address some things right off the bat, right? Because first, we know that you have so many products you want us to launch, like SPF. And that has come up a lot. But these products are on our list. They are in development. And the development timeline is actually very long. I will tell you that we have been trying to launch this product for, I want to say, almost six months. And it's these, they're just, it's a very long timeline. And so we always bring the best to you um, as soon as we can. They are on our list and stay tuned. We have so many amazing things in store for you the rest of this year. But also I want you all to trust me that this is different from our other forms of vitamin C. And if you trust me, I'm going to tell you why this is such a magical bedtime glow maker. So who's ready to boost their bedtime routine for a more perfected complexion? Who is ready for that? And who's going to trust me that I'm, you know, I, I'm here for you. You know, I'm going to tell you all of the things and why this is so incredible, but it really, really is different. I see so many of you in the comments wanting to know, wanting to know. Okay, so I'm going to drop some facts. We're going to be dropping facts right now. And if you've heard this, I want you to leave a comment that you have heard either me say this or you have heard this before. Okay, first, vitamin C is actually a whole category of ingredients. So I'm going to hold up three of our superstar vitamin C serum booster product things. These are actually very different types of vitamin C in all three of these. It's a whole category of ingredients. And in my opinion, um, and I've been in the beauty industry for over 20 years um, and an esthetician for over a decade. It's actually one of the most misunderstood and miseducated ingredients out there. It is very, very miseducated. Um, it's a potent active ingredient and an antioxidant with both clinical and botanical sources. and that's what makes it so, um, that gives it so much variety. We don't make vitamin C ourselves. So humans are a mammal that does not actually make vitamin C, but we need it very, very badly. So the only ways to get it are through our diet and through topical application. So who's heard any of these? Um, Vitamin C tolerance varies per person, and that's going to depend on the type of vitamin C. It's going to depend on the person, their skin type, maybe seasonal things, and they actually all have very different benefits and do different things. Vitamin C is amazing during the day. For me, vitamin C is a non-negotiable during the day, and that's one of the reasons why we have different options, because not everyone can tolerate all the different types of vitamin C. They're different benefits for different skin types. And it's really important during the day. But what a lot of people don't know is that there are very distinct benefits for using vitamin C in your bedtime routine. And I just got these jammies and I love them. 
and they look really cute with my headband. We're reinforcing bedtime routine here because I'm going to open your eyes on all of the bedtime goodness with this. It offers a range of benefits, like I said. Some of the main ones, of course, are improving the appearance of dark spots and hyperpigmentation. And I will jump ahead and telling you that this is just such an incredible formulation when you're talking about targeting extra stubborn dark spots and hyperpigmentation, but different forms maybe have different antioxidant benefits. Antioxidants actually can do different things depending on the type of vitamin C. They help support different parts of the skin depending on the type of vitamin C. Um, ascorbic acid is amazing for dark spots and hyperpigmentation, and it's a super potent antioxidant, and it's incredible for improving the appearance of lines and wrinkles. So this is ideal during the day. It's a daytime superstar. It's an active ingredient, meaning it does a lot of heavy lifting. So when I say active ingredient, I know I throw that around a lot. That's really the superstar ingredient that's going to do the heavy lifting in our routine for those cornerstone benefits. And it's been proven to have a synergy. So vitamin C actually had, there's a lot of clinical studies around a synergy when you pair it with other active ingredients. But like I've told you before, our vitamin C booster powder and ascorbic acid, which is pure vitamin C, we don't want to pair that with retinol. We don't want to pair this with exfoliants. But Stephanie, if we know there's clinical data saying there's benefits with vitamin C and say retinol and vitamin C and exfoliants, what do we do if we can't use certain forms of vitamin C? Well, that's why it's so important to have different forms because they actually do different things and they work differently for different people. And here at GoPure, if you noticed, we love vitamin C and we have all sorts of incredible vitamin C products, not just our serums, because we know how powerful and important vitamin C is. And all of these facts where it's really important to have in your skincare routine and us being able to offer a variety of vitamin C products so they can support your skin and making sure someone with sensitive skin or oily skin or dry skin or maturing skin can at least have one product that is at those very and those higher active levels can really do that heavy lifting in your skincare routine. But I also want to say that it's not just about vitamin C and the one ingredient. It's about the overall formulation. And I will say even these three products, the formulations are very different. The other ingredients that you have paired with that vitamin C ingredient make it a whole package. So it's about the whole package, your skin, your skin's needs, your skin type, your skin concerns. So I was excited to actually learn about this incredible 30% vitamin C dry oil. Because Yes. And I see someone saying, but you don't use them at the same time. Yes, we don't. You don't need all of them at the same time. It's about figuring out what's best for you, your skin day or night and picking the one main vi high level vitamin C product that is best for you. Yes. Dry oil. I see that we're going to get to that. So let's talk seasonal skincare with a capital C, shall we? The weather is changing. I'm not kidding. It was almost 90 degrees here the other day. I don't know what has happened to spring, but it just leapt from winter and snowing to almost 90 degree weather here. And I uh, sometimes feel like a, a little weather princess where I don't want it to be too hot or too cold. I would just like it to be just right all of the time. Um, Goldilocks girl, hardcore when it comes to weather, I will tell you that. And it really, I actually added this into what I wanted to say because it was so hot the other day. And yeah, if it's hot where you are, yeah, Cynthia's saying it's summer already. Um, I see, yeah, in Massachusetts, 90 degrees today. It's it's so hot already. And this is vitamin C weather. And that's another reason why it's so important to have a variety of skincare for your day and your night routine, because it is, this is vitamin C weather. When it gets warmer, it's important to actually add more vitamin C because of how strong of an antioxidant it is. Most people generally get more sun when it's nicer out. Um, so you need that extra antioxidant support. And this weather can make our dark spots and hyperpigmentation worse. And we know that UV exposure is the number one cause of all of the visible signs of aging, but especially things like those lines and wrinkles and dark spots and hyperpigmentation, right? 
And vitamin C is classically known as a daytime superstar. And like with the, the vitamin C booster powder that we launched, um, yes, this is one of my favorites for daytime, but this, I don't use this at night. I use retinol at night. I exfoliate at night, but this is amazing for day. So who wants to talk about how this luxurious treatment can level up your evening routine? Cause this is an elegant moisturizing, easy to tolerate formula. And I heard dry oil. So I'm going to show you first. I want, I have an empty bottle here and I want to show you why this is different. This has this really gorgeous top and pump, and it has this great way to actually just get individual drops out. It's this gorgeous bottle. And so we have this new style bottle for this. So you can get just the right amount out that you all need. So this really is a targeted treatment to improve the appearance of dark spots and hyperpigmentation while it supports your skin's barrier in multiple ways. It can improve the appearance of lines and wrinkles, um, nourish, moisturize, and help lock in visible skin hydration. And it just makes the skin overall feel more supple and nourished and just yummy, you know, like that yummy skin feeling that we get. Um, at, you just wake up feeling incredible, but it's very, very versatile. And I do want to add that this is incredibly, incredibly good for even the most stubborn dark spots and hyperpigmentation. And we're going to get into all the details, but I want to show you this oil. So it is a clear oil. It has absolutely, absolutely no fragrance to it whatsoever. No color. I'm going to put a couple drops on the back of my hand. So you really only need two, three, four drops. And what it does is it just goes on and absorbs so lightly and so nicely. It doesn't leave any greasy feeling on your hand. And you can use it just on spots. You can slather yourself in it. Um, I know people are going to ask. You can absolutely use it during the day if you want. But I we really love this as a nighttime treatment. So let's talk a little bit more about this product because it's so good. And there's like so many things I want to say about this. So I do want to preface this by saying <laughs> there is so much I want to say about this oil. So make sure you're in our VIP group. Follow us on all the social channels because I won't even be able to get through all of this during this live. There's just so much goodness to say about this. And Janelle was asking, is it fine for oily skin? Yes, this is actually great for oily skin. Um, everyone from sensitive skin, oily skin, acne prone skin, dry skin, and everything in between, because this type of vitamin C is an oil soluble form of vitamin C. It's very nourishing. But the other ingredients in here actually additionally nourish the skin and use skin similar weights. And so it's not heavy. It's not going to be pore clogging. It's really, really incredible. And some of the common issues with other forms of vitamin C and poor formulations of vitamin C, um, you can have issues with oxidation and instability. You can have issues with poor skin penetration. That's one of the biggest challenges with certain forms of vitamin C is they don't absorb into the skin deep enough to do the work they need to do. Um, ascorbic acid, we love her. But ascorbic acid has a lower pH and it's more acidic, which is why it can be great for daytime. But at nighttime, it's not always the best. And people with sensitive skin or breakout prone skin might struggle with that ingredient a little bit more. Remember, skincare is not one size fits all. Um, it's about finding the product that is best for you. Um, and if you use it inappropriately or too much, um, those really acidic forms of vitamin C, they can um, just cause redness and additional dryness. And we know that ascorbic acid, we don't want to pair with retinol and exfoliants. And I do want to say, I know I talked a ton about vitamin C in the live with the vitamin C booster. And with other ones that I've done dedicated on vitamin C. So I don't want to go too much into that. I really want to focus on the product and the other things I want to talk about. But we do formulate all of our vitamin C skin care here at GoPure to be very stable, to work very, very well, and to be very easy to tolerate. And remember, we do additional testing to make sure that it does not cause those sensitivities and whatnot. We go the extra mile to make sure that we curate and craft these um, easy to tolerate, incredibly effective formulas. So this is an elegant and advanced 
form of vitamin C known as THD ascorbate. The full name is tetrahexadecyl ascorbate. I actually love saying that word. It's one of my favorites, but this is um, just one of my absolute favorite skincare ingredients. Um, and it is an incredibly potent antioxidant. But what's really cool about this is that because it's oil loving, other forms of vitamin C are water loving. This is an oil loving form of vitamin C. Our skin loves oils. Our skin is oil based. It wants to, oils want to absorb into the skin. It can actually penetrate up to three times more deeply than other forms of vitamin C. And it's really, really awesome because then when we are sleeping, think about that. A form of vitamin C that has that increased penetration ability in that oil formulation while you're sleeping is going to be able to penetrate into the skin more deeply and get to where it needs to be without having to work hard during the day as an antioxidant and a skin protecting. Because remember, during the day, we love using skincare that is awesome at that prevention, protection, that superpower antioxidant, brightening all of those things. At night, we want to nourish the skin. We want to, to give the skin what it needs when it's in that repair and restore mode. We want a product that is, is meant to penetrate extra deeply into the skin. And we paired this with squalane, which is another one of my favorite ingredients. Squalane is a skin similar lipid. It's amazing. It's great for all skin types. It also has a compound called bright oleoactive, which utilizes licorice root, marshmallow root, and rice bran. And the clinical data around that for not only soothing the skin, but improving the appearance of dark spots and hyperpigmentation is really incredible. It's really, really incredible. And so that's why I love this for a really incredible targeted treatment in oil, specifically to nourish the skin, support the skin barrier, but really target extra, extra stubborn dark spots and hyperpigmentation. And I see so many of you on here and um, I see someone asking, can we use it with retinol serum and retinol cream? So I'm going to answer a couple of questions really quick while we pick a winner, because I want to give away one of these. Who wants to win one of these right now? Start, just get in the chat, ask all your questions, and I'm going to answer that. So yes, that's what's really interesting about this form of vitamin C is that the data around pairing this form, this THD ascorbate with retinol is amazing. It really actually levels up. So what it can do for dark spots and hyperpigmentation and lines and wrinkles um, and improving the appearance of those concerns, when you pair it with retinol, it actually takes that up even another notch. But a big part of that is that the level that we have it at that 30% really is what makes that clinical data so strong. But I always say, if you're going to pair two active ingredients together, because remember, I would not pair the ascorbic acid vitamin C booster powder with retinol and retinoids. That's a no-no in my book. But this is different. I have very sensitive reactive skin, and I have done that and paired them. And I think that I always want everyone to patch test, try it out first when you are doing more with active ingredients like that. But Yes, that is actually an acceptable pairing, believe it or not. Um, so now we are going to pick a winner. To Who wants to win this vitamin C dry out? I see so many of you saying yes, 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 yes. So Tiffany Brains, you just won our new vitamin C dry oil. Congratulations. Um, thank you for participating in the chat. But we're going to be doing more giveaways here. But I actually have something right now. I am so happy that we have a special guest because, well, I know our time together is so much fun. Um, having more guests on is even more fun. So, because it wouldn't be a pajama party if it was just me hanging out in my pajamas and a headband. So, I want you all to help me welcome a very, very special guest. Because while we're talking about alternatives to retinol, pairing with retinol, how do we use this? I thought, hey, let's bring someone on who is incredible, um, who you've heard from here at GoPure, even though you don't know. So Rachel joined the company about a year and a half ago. She's our head of retention. So she communicates all the amazingness to you. So whenever you get incredible offers, communications, email, text messages, postcards, Rachel heads all of that up and she's incredible. She makes sure you all stay in the know with all of the awesome offers, deals, information, education here at GoPure. So let's welcome Rachel to the stage to join the pajama party. Welcome, Hi, Rachel. Me. 
Hi, everybody. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited that you are here. Um, first of all, Rachel is the most incredible person to work with ever. Um, and I'm just always so grateful when someone wants to hop on live. But I think it's really cool when you all get to meet some of the incredible people here because the team here at GoPure is just the bestest. And I... I want to talk about routines because I know everyone's like, can I use this with this or how do we use this? But what I want you all to know is that I heard, you know, Rachel has some skin sensitivities. And so we're just going to have a skincare chat and talk about ways to use this. Rachel's going to chat about ways she uses it. I'm going to chat about ways I use it. So you can all um, just learn and figure out what's best for you. Because remember, it's your skin. It's your skincare routine. So welcome, Rachel. And talk to me a little bit about your skin type and your skin concerns. Like, let's get into it. Let's have a good skin chat. We'll do a little deep dive on Rachel. Uh, yeah, so I um, really kind of got started in skincare maybe a couple years ago. And then, as you said, um, joining GoPure about a year and a half ago, um, really kind of learning from you about ways, like maybe think some things with my skin that I wasn't realizing before. Um, so I do have a just kind of mild form of rosacea. Um, so it will flare up um, and I will get really pink cheeks, um, really dry skin. Um, and sometimes it can just happen by me not taking care of my skin. It can kind of happen from external uh, factors such as like eating spicy foods, um, having a nice drink. Uh, so when that occurs and I have combination skin, so I do have to be very careful about the products I use what I introduce into my skincare and just overall beauty routine with makeup and cosmetics. Um, so I was super excited when you started talking about this new vitamin C oil and telling me like, hey, this is great for sensitive skin, great for people who can't use retinol. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to learn more from you, go through my skincare routine and see where I can improve it. Well, and it's so challenging when you have to pay attention to all your triggers. And I see a lot of people in the chat talking about rosacea and it's come up a lot. Um, and it's very, very common actually, but even just because I have very sensitive skin and reactive skin and skin sensitivities generally are very common. So it's really important to, for us to be able to, to chat and help other people figure out how to do this. But when you have to be so aware of your triggers externally, you have to be extra careful when you're actually putting it on your face and on your skin, right? Definitely. Yeah. Like I, and that makes you more cautious about like what you're willing to try. Mm -hmm. Um, and just like being even like courageous enough to like switch it up, what type of products I want to use when I want to use it. So my routines have become very like, this is what I do. I don't change it up too much. Um, and that's really just to kind of control my, the irritation that comes from my skin. Yeah. And that's a great way when you know what works, you know, what works. And I completely exactly. understand the hesitation, but I think that's just a general thing too. Um, it can be intimidating to want to try new things and to trust our skin with something. And I've heard that you can't use retinol at all. So can you tell us a bit about your experience with retinol and what you've tried and what your experience has been? Yeah. So I really have only used retinol, um, you know, a handful of times I've given it a chance um, and just really have pulled back from it. I've, you know, as all of you probably have heard, if you've on here, Stephanie gives a lot of different tips on how to use retinol. So I've done different types of skin cycling with it. I've tried the retinol sandwich. Um, and every time I do, like my skin will just get super dried out, super irritated. Um, to where like, you know, I just kind of want to scratch it, which is the last thing I want to do when it comes to my skin. And so for me, even using retinol once a week, uh, it just hasn't worked out. So it's something that I've pulled out of my routine. I, you know, do you have a couple bottles that are probably sitting on my shelf about to expire? Um, but it's just kind of one of those things that like, if it hasn't worked, then I'm not going to keep pushing my skin through it um, and try to find some other types of ingredients, types of products where I can get those same benefits from. 
And that's, I'm glad you brought that up because, and I see some people in the chat too, saying they, they can't use retinol. There's some, some people can only use retinol a couple times a week. Some people can't use it at all. Some people can use maybe a, a cream, but not a serum. Um, and I, I never want anyone to feel bad because retinol is a potent ingredient. Um, and even like ascorbic acid, they're potent ingredients, but everyone's skin is different. And again, like it's about finding what works for you individually, even the most easy to tolerate skincare product isn't going to be universally tolerated. It's just how it is. And skincare is subjective. It's not one size fits all for sure. And I love that you tried all the things too. Like you can try all the things and just say, it's just, this is not my path. This is not. I have tried. I've given it a chance. We can move on. my journey. <laughs> and it is what it is. But let's talk about what has worked. So what has worked for you? Yeah. So when I am looking at uh, different skincare products to introduce, like I always want something with a uh, hyaluronic acid in it, um, that with my skin being dry, like that is just something that I have to have in my routine. Yep. Um, I also look for uh, peptides and ceramides to really help with the redness and inflammation that I'll get with rosacea. Um, and then I love a vitamin C, especially during the day, um, to really just help with that brightness. Um, and then uh, I know we talked a little bit about it just kind of in our conversations, like I have introduced niacinamide a little bit, really kind of, again, to help with that red, uh, redness um, when I feel it's really acting up a lot. So what vitamin C do you use during the day? Because I think I know the answer to this. So which vitamin C do you use during the day? I use, uh, well... Technically, I use quite a few. Um, as far as our <laughs> serum <true>. goes, <laughs> uh, so I will start with our vitamin C cleanser. Um, but when it comes to uh, serums, I use our Brighten and Even Serum. I love it. It you know it really does. Like I can tell, I'll have a glow after using that. Um, and of course, like we both have fallen in love with our vitamin C moisturizer, one of our yeah. favorites. <laughs> a fave, a beauty bestie. But again, like, that's why having different options for vitamin C, even for daytime is so important. Because as someone with rosacea, that's absolutely what I would recommend for you is the vitamin and even serum during the day, not maybe the vitamin C booster powder, because it's a, you know, that low pH ascorbic acid. And that's why that variety really matters. So you can have something that works for you and your skin during the daytime. And that is something with, for me, like we did introduce the um, vitamin C booster and it was one of those products where I was like, mm, I don't know about this one. I've tried it here and there, um, but I was very cautious of that one at the beginning, just because I know it is a more powerful product than uh, some of the ones I'm currently using. Yeah, for sure. And I'm proud of you for that. <laughs> 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 know yourself. An amazing product. I love that product. It's so incredible. But again, I'm not going to tell a person with rosacea to add that into their skincare routine. I mean, like <laughs> when I say I'm looking out for you all and everyone here at Go Pure is like, we really, really mean it. Um, so does it make you feel left out of the skincare fun a bit to not be able to use something like retinol in your night routine? It does. And just again, kind of even the vitamin C booster, like any new product, I'm always one that if you're gonna, if something's coming out, like I want to try it, I want to see what works, like, oh, give me that glow. Um, but again, like you just kind of have to know what works best for you. Um, and even if you are willing to try it and it's not working, just don't continue to push it. But of course, like when, you know, you're giving tips on how to skin cycle and there's all these different types of routines you can switch up and like introducing retinol and everybody knows like there are a lot of benefits to it you're going to feel a little bit left out of it. Um, so I love that we are continuing to develop more products and release them to where like it gives somebody with sensitive skin the ability to customize their routine to really fit what we need. Yeah, for sure. And that's why, you know, when when we were hinting at this products, we always got to do the teasers. You know, we see the comments about, you know, 
vitamin C and you just launched another vitamin C. But like I said, it's a whole category of ingredients with different benefits um, and different products work for different people. And because it's such an important ingredient for people to be able to include in their routine at active levels, it's actually super important to have a variety of products. So everyone can have the one, two, three products that work for them. And now for us to be able to have something that's not just really like more daytime centric, I will say that I, I always say vitamin C skincare is anytime skincare because it does work day and night, but this is just this truly like amazing nighttime product. And I want to hear about your experience because this is the one I've been using. So I've, I've had the lab <laughs> sample with a Sharpie has that was written on here has worn off. But you just got your oil not not very long ago. And we're yeah. going to have an esthetician moment and bring everyone along with us um, and really talk about like how to use this and how your experience is. So tell me about your experience so far. So specifically um, with the uh, vitamin C dry oil, like you said, I just got it recently. I'm not as lucky as Stephanie getting it super early. Um, so I've only been able to use it um, a handful of times so far um, since getting it. But the like one thing I completely like immediately noticed when um, using it at night, I woke up the next day and like my skin felt so soft. Like I was, I was like, oh, well, and okay, maybe I just did something different that night be beyond that. And so I was able to use it a few more times um, and just kept like waking up and noticing that my skin was just feeling a bit more soft. Like I, I will wake up in the morning usually, um, even like I'll do my skincare at night, I'll put an oil on, um, but sometimes I wake up feeling just a little drier, a little heavier. Um, and that wasn't happening what the times I've been using this. Um, and just waking up, um, having like a little bit more of a glow. That's been super nice. And then just overall, like Stephanie, I think you already mentioned this packaging has been amazing. Like I love our bottle um, with the new stopper. Yeah, like you really so feel like it's legit. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find yourself just doing that a few times. <laughs> I know. It's fun to play with. I love the empty bottle. It's like a fidgeter for me. I'm so fidgety. And so I just keep this and fidget with it. Um, so, and I, I've seen people asking about how to use this and layering. Um, and we're going to talk about it. And I love that you just started using this because, and especially, like you said, you couldn't even use retinol one night. And you have been able to use it. Um, a handful of times. And even the first night you woke up with your skin feeling so much softer and more supple and glowy. Um, and that really says a lot. And I will tell you that when I asked Rachel to hop on with me and go through a routine, I actually didn't know that Rachel had rosacea. Um, I, I had heard that she couldn't use retinol, but I didn't actually know that that Rachel had rosacea. And that, to me, actually just speaks even more volumes um, on this product, especially with this 30% vitamin C dry oil, having that THC ascorbate, that form of vitamin C at 30%, that's the highest level that you are going to find in a skincare product, 30% of this oil. And um, it's it's actually the fanciest form of vitamin C out there, pretty much too. Um, it's it's really amazing, and I just love that you've been able to use it. Whenever as an esthetician, it makes my SD heart so happy when I'm like, yes, we found a thing because now you have that potent active ingredient that you can integrate into your routine um, in the evening, so you can get those additional like active ingredient benefits. So we're gonna talk through a routine, everyone. Okay. So we're going to talk about, go through the steps of a routine and Rachel's going to share what she does and I'm going to share what I do. So we can really share because I do have very reactive skin too, but I'm also a skincare expert. So I'm very good at figuring out how to use stuff that would, you know, it took me five years to be able to figure out how to use retinol. I'm not kidding. I mean, I, this is how dedicated I am and stubborn <laughs> probably, but I also have very reactive skin. So we're going to talk about it and really share how you all can use this in your routine. Cause that's one of the number one questions we get and you all have is, okay, how do I use this? But this is super versatile. And, but we're also going to talk about some of our favorites on the sale and just what we like to use too. So drop in the chat if that sounds good, but I'm actually, before we do this, I'm going to make Kaylee mad at me really quickly. So Kaylee's in the chat. 
Um, Kaylee, I think I want to pause and maybe see if there's some questions here before we get into this. And maybe we can do a little Q&A and pick a winner because I don't think we're going to get through all the things I want to talk about with this. And I love chatting about this with you. So Kaylee, can we give away a dry oil while I look maybe for a question we can answer? Kaylee's going to be so mad at me. I just go rogue. That's like the name of my game. We like to give away stuff. Oh, well, she picked a winner. So we can Ellen McCarthy, you won our dry oil. Congratulations. Thank you all for commenting. Um, and I am going to just see if there's a quick question here. Um, I let me see if I can find something. Do we continue with our regular Go Pure Vitamin C serum? That's a great question, um, especially because we're going to be talking about the routines. So I would say whatever you're using for vitamin C during the day, you can absolutely continue doing that during the day. But if you're using a different Go Pure Vitamin C product at night, I would encourage you to try this one. You do not need to double up. I wouldn't recommend using two of these necessarily at the same time. You don't need to use multiples. Um, but it's a really great option for you to level up the vitamin C that you're using in your evening routine. This is this is truly leveling up, um, but you, you don't need to double up unless you're just using this as a spot treatment because you can do that and we'll get into that. Um, but let's, and that's a really great question. So let's talk cleansing and toning. I'm gonna try and get back to the right spot in the comments here too, so I don't miss anything. I'm working with two computers and mouses. So I'm like trying to stay on, on the right spot. But what do you do um, to kick off your routine? Let's talk about kicking off the routine. Oh, we have another winner. Jeanette Ashworth, you also want our vitamin C dry oil. This is this is great. Let's just do this. Now Kaylee's going to throw it back at you. I Well, you know what? That's why she's the best. Because... She, she has to deal with my shenanigans all the time, <laughs> but she, you know, she holds her own for she, sure. So Jenna can. Ashworth, congratulations. You won and you all keep participating because I want to give more of these away. We have the amazing PR box we're going to be giving away at the end. So keep commenting, keep participating and being a part of this awesome, awesome chat. All right, let's. Let's do this. Let's talk about starting a routine. How do you start your evening skincare routine? So it, I am a makeup girl. So I usually have to start with that. You know, Stephanie understands this. Um, so I use our micellar makeup wipes. Oh, we can't see it. My light is super bright today. Um, but even with sensitive skin, like I'm able to use these, which has been so helpful. Um, any other skincare or makeup wipes that I've tried to use before really will make my skin super irritated, really red. Um, so before we came out this, I would just use plain, you know, just micellar water out of a bottle. Um, so that is really kind of where I get started. Um, and then I move on to our cleanser and toner. Um, and I use both of them every single night, like even if I'm trying to just like, you know, I'm super tired rushing through a routine, these are going to be staples in them. And then I'll do a, uh, a moisturizer, but always in my routine. Um, and the vitamin C cleanser, especially with my sensitive skin, it's hard to find a cleanser that isn't too harsh. And I know you kind of have felt the same, like this has been a big winner for me. Yeah. And, you know, I love that you can use the micellar makeup remover wipes when, and I've said this before, when we were going to launch them, I was so hesitant because if there's one thing estheticians despise are damaging makeup wipes. And especially for people with sensitive skin and rosacea, but these are a true micellar soaked cloth. I feel like the name doesn't always do it justice because it's not, it, I promise you, that is not like the other um, problematic makeup wipes out there. And so they, um, I love they come in a two pack also because they're just like great at refreshing the skin. Um, but same, I am so obsessed with this. I was, when I was trying out the products, it was been two years since I started um, trying Go Pure products. Um, super hesitant with the cleanser too. I think it's such an important step. It's an essential step in the routine. Love it. Love, love, love it. And then the toner, I have said, if you see any of my short videos that I, this is my glow secret. I 
instantly because I wake up with very dull looking skin. I can wake up kind of puffy. Um, you know, when you get in your 40s, your skin just wants to not be vibrant. It's just is very dedicated to dullness, I feel like. And the it I really feel like I put that toner on my skin and it just instantly brings life back to my skin. And I see someone in the comments saying they want to try the toner. What I love is that it's alcohol free. And that's probably one of the reasons it works so well for your skin with rosacea, because that's one thing I say, if anyone has rosacea skin sensitivities, be so careful with toners and avoid anything, anything with alcohol in toners, because they're so stripping, so drying. Um, and it just is so problematic. And this is very jelly like it's nourishing, um, and no alcohol in there whatsoever. So that's yeah, it's super cooling too. like, it because is. it's that gel, like it is one of the things that I'm like, you know, you want to kind of skip your cleanser sometimes and get straight to your toner um, just because it, it does have that really nice feeling on your face. Yeah, it feels awesome. Um, so after um, you cleanse and tone, what is your kind of serum treatment phase? What works for you at night? Sure. So I will say, I know you and I are sometimes a little bit different on this. I actually go to my eye care before I put on my serum. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so I will put on... Um, my eye cream, because what I have found similarly with everything else, you got to play around and try that if I put my serums on before my eye cream, it actually will like affect my eyes a lot. Um, like I'll wake up with red eyes, sometimes a little bit swollen because of those ingredients getting too close or mixed in there. Um, so that's actually normally where I start off. Um, and then for um, my nighttime routine, kind of an everyday basis for myself. Uh, I use our Dramatically Dewy Serum really to get that uh, hyaluronic acid to really help with uh, my skin barrier, get as much moisture in as possible. I love that. And that is such an esthetician approved step if you have very sensitive skin and reactive eyes our eye cream can work as a buffer. And so if you feel like other products bother your eye area, absolutely putting that on first is such a great option. Um, and I love that you do that. And the dramatically dewy is amazing because I know we talk about the hyaluronic acid and the three weights of hyaluronic acid in that. Um, I had to grab a new one because I go through these. Like you would think that this is like, I drink it like coffee in the morning or something. <laughs> that, yes. that and the vitamin C moisturizer, they like disappear from my, yeah. Just so much. And for me, the niacinamide too. I go through those so fast, but it's because you can just use from, like you can use it all the time, day and night. But this has not just the three weights of hyaluronic acid, but the hydrocella in there and the panthenol are actually barrier supportive. And when you have rosacea, sensitive skin, mature skin, dry skin, you really, really want a product that is going to additionally support your skin barrier. So I love that you do that. For me with my serums, I'm always mixing it up. At night, I like I usually in a week, will have like an exfoliation night and then I try and push retinol for like two to three days, maybe. Um, and then I will lean into like nourishing my skin and then kind of repeat that with exfoliation because I have to be really careful with how much I exfoliate my face. But I've mixed it up so much now with the dry oil because I can use it on nights when I would normally not be using a retinol or exfoliant. I can use this on my exfoliation nights. I don't use it every night I use retinol, but probably every other time. And then on my nights that would normally just be barrier supportive, I'm using this, but I do my serums, whatever they are. And then I actually take this and I spot treat first with it because this can actually be used over or under your moisturizer. And so I see that um, in the comments. And I see someone asking if it's okay to use retinol nightly. You absolutely can. Um, if your skin can tolerate it, I can't, I, I can't use retinol every single night, but I also like compartmentalize like the active that I'm using at night, just knowing my skin, um, because I'll think it's fine. And then there's a little bit of a delay and dryness for me. So it just depends on what your skin can tolerate, but it is acceptable if your skin can tolerate it to use retinol every single night, you can for sure do that. But I love this because I will do my serums and I have my stubborn big dark spot here, which you literally can't even hardly see this anymore, yeah. which is wacky, 
wacky. Just and I that on your face. That to this during the day and this at night, literally, my skin has never been this like even ever. And the older I get, I mean, I'm about to turn 40. I'm going to be turning 42 years old. And I'm like, this is my day <laughs> and my night. But this I spot treat and then I do my eye cream and let it soak in. And then I do my moisturizer. And then I slather this on top of my slather. I mean, like a little bit does go a long way, even as a dry oil. And that's kind of how I layer it. But you told me an interesting way that you use yours. So after you do your eye cream and you're dramatically dewy, tell me how you use the dry oil. Yeah. So I know just kind of do through our uh, instructions, we said that like we can try it either under or on top of our moisturizer. So I do normally put an oil over top of my moisturizer at night. So for this, I was like, well, let's give it a try, see how it works underneath my moisturizer. So I have been putting on just a few drops, as you said, a little does go a long way. Mm -hmm. um, and especially if you're gonna put it under your moisturizer, you wanna be able to have time to let it soak in. So I've been doing that and then um, adding my anti-wrinkle moisturizer on top. Um, I kind of my next step is to spend a week testing it, doing it the other way, see how the difference feels. But even under the skin, like I truly feel like it absorbs quickly. I still get the benefits of uh, my moisturizer. Um, and as said, like I, I've woken up and my skin has just felt so soft from that oil. I love that you took that approach too. Um, one thing that's different is, um, so oils, normally we finish with oils. Oils are last because they create a barrier. And so when we finish, it seals in our skincare, right? So it locks all that goodness in, locks in the hydration. It prevents water from escaping our skin. But if we layer oil on too soon, it creates a barrier to the other skincare sometimes that we put on top. The water loving ingredients can't always get through. Remember, this is a dry oil and the squalene in here and the coconut alkynes actually are very skin similar. So what I mean like dry touch is like where I put that on my hand, like it, it literally just feels like skin. It doesn't leave that oily finish. And so if you give it time to absorb, it's, it's not going to have that um, same effect as maybe impeding your, the absorption of other products. But I always want people to try different methods. The closer we apply something in our skincare routine to our skin, the more active application it's going to be. So I would encourage those of you that maybe have um, the most stubborn dark spots and hyperpigmentation to at least use this as a spot treatment on those areas underneath your moisturizer and then maybe finish over the top like I do. Um, but I played with, I mean, and I told you this, I'm so bad. Um, so I'm obsessed with the vitamin C moisturizer. I love the vitamin C moisturizer so much. And I, when I want my makeup to just look extra amazing, I've been putting a drop of this vitamin C dry oil in my vitamin C moisturizer just to enhance the glow and the texture and the amazingness of it. I know I'm not going to get the same boost with the ingredients as if I did a full application, but I know I'm getting that additional antioxidant boost, that additional nourishment. And it's just so fun to play with because you can play over or under, um, uh, and it's amazing. So let's take a moment. Let's do another giveaway um, because we've been chatting and I see th the comments. I want you all to know, I see you there from here because we are streaming to <laughs> Facebook, the VIP group and YouTube. The comments are like flying by. It's so hard. I can see words sometimes and a few things, but it's so hard to see. Um, and I promise, I promise we want to answer your questions. Vanessa Isabel, you won our new vitamin C dry oil. Congratulations. Congratulations. And remember, our spring sale is going on right now. So all the things we're talking about, the dry oil, everything, you can save 25% off site-wide with code SPRING25, but it's actually auto-applied at checkout, which is really super cool. Um, and so if you're not a winner, make sure you go and grab this. It's really amazing. I'm obsessed. I saw someone asking how long I've been using this. I actually don't know how long I've been using this because been talking we, about it for a while. <laughs> I mean, and we were really trying to launch this 
um, even for Black Friday. And um, we couldn't do that. And so, I mean, just with like, even us with a lot of the, the stuff that you've heard going on with like shipping and manufacturing, us just making sure we had the packaging, like the really awesome packaging for this, you know, like we had to get all the components in, all of the things. Um, but I can't remember when I really started like using it consistently in my routine. I want to say I've been using it can I, I actually was like, maybe I should stop using it if we can't launch it in November. I feel so bad. <laughs> I always feel so bad. Um, Stephanie gets all the good stuff first, you guys. <laughs> I get all the good stuff first. <laughs> Unfortunately for everyone else, because then I get to share my opinions on them. If we're, if we're having delays on things, blame me probably, because I, I, I'm i like, we're going to have the, I'm going to just be another like, issue in there just to make sure if we can make it these little changes or things. I mean, I'm the problem child here. We all know that. <laughs> but um, all right. So now we are going to talk about, so you said you use the moisturizer, right? So you use the glycopeptide anti-wrinkle moisturizer. I mix up what moisturizer I use at night, actually. Um, in the winter, I'm all about glycopeptide anti-wrinkle. In the summer, I shift more to vitamin C day and night because I'm obsessed with it. And my skin is really impacted by the heat. As you can tell, my office is so hot. And I'm like turning pink and a little <laughs> extra glowy <laughs> right now. Um, but do you traditionally finish your routine with an oil? I do. Yeah. So I will use a rosehip oil or a jojoba oil just on some nights really to kind of just help lock in everything. I see there were some questions about people kind of being confused. Do I put the oil on before or after just in general? Yeah. And normally with like a rosehip oil that I'll put on after because it does leave like a sheen yeah. um, to where your moisturizer can't actually do what it needs to do. Yeah, I would for sure like this, like I said, this is a dry oil. So if you give it enough time to absorb, it can go under or over your moisturizer. Like I spot treat with it under, do my moisturizer and then put this over. But you absolutely want to put this under any additional oils you would be using. So I wouldn't like do a rosehip oil and then put this over the top. I would make sure this goes under, um, under everything. And someone's asking how many products should you use? Really, it depends on your skin and your skincare routine. Um, the foundational um, skincare routine is going to be a cleanser, a moisturizer, and SPF during the day. But when you really want to level up your routine, um, that's when you start adding in serums, eye creams, additional treatments. But it really depends on you and what you'll actually do and what your individual skin concerns are. Um, I really feel like our products here at GoPure are very multitasking. Like this isn't just going to target dark spots and hyperpigmentation. It's not just that 30% THD ascorbate. It has that bright oleoactive that additionally is going to be a powerhouse using marshmallow and licorice and rice bran to soothe the skin, um, support skin hydration and target even the stubborn dark spots and hyperpigmentation. The squalane is really going to add that additional like nourishing to the skin. It's a very well-rounded skincare um, product that's going to be barrier supportive and a super antioxidant. Um, and so you get so much, even if you want a simple routine and just add in one or two other things, you're going to be getting a well-rounded benefits with really any of our additional serums and skin treatments. They're, they're not like a one trick pony kind of situation. They are just packed. And it, like I said earlier in the live, it's about the overall formulation um, of the product and everything else that is in there for sure. And I see people saying sunscreen. I promise you um, that is, I, you know, that is going to be coming later this year. That is the goal to launch that later this year um, because we all know that SPF is important, but it can take years to development. And this has been in development for a really long time. And we, we, we create formulas that are clean and clinically proven with that amazing texture and uh, have that great experience and SPF, especially for the face. That's a challenging one when you're trying to check all of those boxes for sure. And I can promise she is not lying. We are really trying to get that out there. And it's not, you know, we know our customers want it. Us all, everybody at GoPure here really wants it. So we're I actually it. don't have it. I will say I get all the things. I will tell you, I'm like, I want, I want it. I want a bottle. <laughs> Can I have one of these in sunscreen, please? 
I mean, it, we really, it's, it's just, I mean, and you all met Amy on the last live and we talked about that a bit too. So if you want to hear a bit more about that process and the product development process, we do have that up on YouTube. So you can check that out um, and hear about, we do actually talk about the SPF and our, the testing process and all of those things for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, so Rachel, do you have any other skin concerns besides rosacea like dark spots? Yep. So dark spots, probably about a couple years ago, I started noticing them. And um, for me, it really just comes occasionally throughout the year. So uh, during the colder months, I know I'm in Florida, so it's not as cold as you get up there, Stephanie in Colorado. But I don't really have a problem with them. But really kind of once we're starting to hit the springtime and definitely in the summer, I will start noticing them pop up more and more. And you know, and I was talking about mine, how this one right here in particular, I forget about it until it starts getting warm um, and it starts creeping, right? And it's got to be front and center, of course, but- um, <laughs> They all are, always. I'm proud of them, I get us the tissue. <laughs> but I mean, dark spots are really, in all of my years being an esthetician, I really feel like dark spots are the catalyst for people when they're like, oh, I actually really need to start doing something different in my skincare routine. And have you heard about the connection between heat and dark spots? I have from you, I'll say. Uh, <laughs> I'm one of the lucky ones that get to read all of Stephanie's blogs before they even go out. Um, so I've been able to learn more about skincare, especially, like you said, um, understanding a little bit more about specific skin concerns um, from all of the blogs that you put out. And that's another reason why I'm actually happier we were able to launch this this time of year as opposed to if we would have in November and directly after the vitamin C booster powder. Because again, like the vitamin C booster powder is amazing for day. This vitamin C dry oil is incredible for night, but that link between additional sun exposure and heat is really what exacerbates our dark spots and hyperpigmentation. And we can do all this amazing work in the winter. And I'm like, my skin is so even looking. I've minimized the appearance of my dark spots, all of this stuff. And then I'm not kidding. The first warm day that happens, <laughs> I, I'm going to have to name this spot here or something. Um, because it's, it's the timing. This is vitamin C season. But you can't use retinol at all. But I sometimes get a little more conservative with my retinol use in the summer. And we have one of the top questions we get around this time of year are when um, our amazing VIPs and customers are traveling, um, when they're maybe going to go on a beach vacation, they're going to get more sun. Um, we make adjustments with our routine seasonally. I mean, we write blogs all the time on, you know, winter skincare, spring skincare, summer skincare, and in the warmer months. We, I absolutely, as an esthetician, have people make potential adjustments with their retinol use, especially if you have more sensitive skin. And what I love about this is that not only because of the formulation with the 30% THD ascorbic, with that bright oleoactive that super targets dark spots, like stubborn dark spots, it's actually very seasonally appropriate, both from that component, from, but also when you, maybe you're not using retinol, okay, what do I do? This is, I mean, it literally checks both of those boxes um, and it's just so timely. And so I know so many people have said, why two back to back? We actually considered for a time even launching them together, but I think it's important for people to be able to integrate products one at a time so they're not overdoing it as well. Again, we want you to have an amazing experience with your skincare, but now it being April, I think it's even more appropriate for this time of year because UV, hormone changes, heat, medication, all of these things exacerbate our dark spots. And we have melanin in our skin and it's important. It's actually an antioxidant in our skin. It's kind of our natural defense mechanism and we need it. But those cells that produce melanin get hyperactive, right? And mm -hmm. heat actually anchors it into the skin. And that's why when it gets hot out, they start peaking because the heat is actually the component, whether it be from acne or rosacea, because when rosacea, it actually is inflammation in the skin. It creates heat. Um, 
sun exposure with heat. Um, if you're trying to treat dark spots, you actually want to avoid heat on the skin in a lot of ways, even super hot water. Yes, it's drying, but it additionally um, puts additional unnecessary heat into the skin. That's actually what anchors and lodges that excess melanin in the skin and makes it so stubborn. And this formulation has multiple ingredients that help to support our natural ability to manage melanin production and eliminate excess melanin from the skin. And so it's it's really a cool formulation for stubborn dark spots and hyperpigmentation. And I think it's so seasonal and so timely because, you know, mine pops up and now you can, if you feel like that happens with you, I want you to try it as a spot treatment too, more often than maybe you would use it all over on those more stubborn dark spots. Um, we're actually going to give away another dry oil right now um, before we do the grand prize. So who wants to win this dry oil? And who's going to be taking advantage of the spring sale? So who's going to be taking advantage of 20%, 25%? Off? I know. <laughs> I stumbled. I knew it was 25. I've been talking so much. I stumbled. Um, and using code SPRING25, it will be auto-applied at checkout. I'm so excited for you all to try this. And Sharon Matson, you get to try it as a winner on tonight's live. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. And um, I'm just so excited for everyone to, to grab this, to try it out, to try it in your night routine, to see how it works for you, whether you can use retinol and you want to try it on nights where you don't use retinol, or maybe you want to try it on your retinol nights a little bit, or if you can't use retinol, whether it be seasonally or because you're like Rachel, where you have tried and it's just... It's just not your journey. Not your friend. It's not your friend. It's okay. Retinol is sassy. It but, is. you know. And I'm super excited now. I know, like, I just got back from a little beach vacation. So I know my dark spots are about to pop out. So I'm excited to give that a try um, and see how it works for me. That I'm, I'm just, I'm really excited. Now I can let you go or you can stay because I do want to read some clinical data. We've been on for over an hour and there's just so <laughs> much I want to share. So I do want to say, make sure you're in the VIP group, follow us on TikTok, Instagram, follow us on YouTube because we're going to be sharing all of the details really on why this is so amazing. We have tons of information on the website. Um, I want to just share all the things all the time, but we have a ton of time to share all spring and summer with other lives and other things, but I do want to read some of this clinical data, which is actually very, very cool. So you can stay or I can let you go for the grand prize. Do you want to stay for the grand I gotta, prize? I gotta, yeah, come on. <laughs> Rachel is a trooper. I love it. Okay. I like giving things away. <laughs> it is the most Free fun things thing are fun ever. I pretend all the time like my job is hard, but I get to give things away and learn about skincare and share about skincare. Cause like to be an educator, you have to be a lifetime student and learning about skincare is my favorite. Um, and it's just the best, but giving products away to you all and being able to hang out and like answer your questions and all of these things. It's just, it's so much fun, isn't it? So now she's, Rachel's having fun and she's going to, I feel like she's going to want to come back. I feel like she's going to want to come back and hang out with us. I think it, I think yeah. that's going to have to call me up. <laughs> I will, I will. This has been, this is just so much fun. So I want to read a couple clinical studies on this because remember this has um, THD ascorbate, that oil soluble, oil loving, skin loving form of vitamin C that can penetrate up to three times more deeply than other forms of vitamin C. So while you're sleeping in your silky jammies, you can know that this luxurious oil is this antioxidant packed skincare barrier booster that's actually going to penetrate more deeply to do that work on that extra stubborn dark spots and hyperpigmentation and those lines and wrinkles. It all, um, so let, I want to read this. So, um, even just at a 10% concentration, it was applied um, to 10 volunteers for 16 weeks. Um, and the results showed that it eliminated the appearance of age spots and reduced the look of UV induced pigmentation. And at 30%, it was even more. So that's why the percentages really matter because this ingredient you might find in other products. I don't know if I've ever seen a product with it at 30%. I'm being like very honest. Like I don't know if I've ever seen 30% of this ingredient and it showed an 80% reduction in visible melanin synthesis 
which, you know, is the creation of the pigment that leads to dark spots and hyperpigmentation. It has that squalling that's an amazing um, antioxidant and skin similar lipid, but the bright oleoactive, which has, and I, when I saw this compound, I like was so excited <laughs> because it has licorice root, marshmallow root, and rice bran. And when I tell you that THD ascorbate, squalane, marshmallow root, licorice root, and rice bran are five of my favorite skincare ingredients. <laughs> I think I almost like spontaneously combusted as an esthetician. I was like, what? This is amazing. This is the best thing I've ever heard of. Because marshmallow root is so soothing on the skin. Um, and you will see it now it's actually trending. Licorice root is really incredible. It works similarly to hydroquinone, but hydroquinone is a yucky not good ingredient that we do not include in our skincare. Um, and rice bran does both. It can improve the appearance of dark spots and hyperpigmentation and soothe the skin. And in 28 days, volunteers showed visible improvement in the quality of their complexion, 18.5 times increase in the look of skin lightness and a 273% increase in the look of skin luminance. Like, it's amazing. And after 56 days um, of 1% bright oleoactive, which is what we have in here, um, the quality of melanin in dark spots, um, it decreased the quality of melanin in dark spots by up to 52% as compared to a placebo. And that's the thing is that our dark spots are can be caused by so many things, right? Like we said, sun and hormones and heat and skin damage and all of these things. So it takes a combination therapy and a very well-rounded approach in our day with all of our amazing vitamin C skincare and now in our night routine to really come at those dark spots because there's such a path and a process. Like I actually love niacinamide in there too. I've said this is one of my night routine besties. One of the lesser talked about benefits of niacinamide is a very specific part of melanin transport and how it like basically can help block that. And so having a bunch of it products that you use in your day and your night routine that work to and have been clinically shown to and are included at clinically active levels is really, really how you start seeing those results. And it's amazing. When I saw that clinical data, I was like, I can't wait. To <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, all right. So Rachel, the time has come for us to choose the grand prize winner. I want to know again, who had fun tonight? Who learned something? Um, what? What did you learn? And they're going to be choosing a winner for the grand prize winner. So many of you have participated. I know, I like I said, the comments and questions have been flying by. I'm so glad I had Rachel on to really talk through this process and our different experiences and especially showing that this type of vitamin C at a high percentage can be so easy to tolerate because of the type of vitamin C, how unique it is at being oil loving and with the other ingredients. Um, and I can't wait to hear about all of your experiences as you get it and as you start using it. That's why you want to be in the VIP group for sure, because that's where we go and hang out and share and share our results um, and ask questions because there are just so many questions and I want to go through and I want to answer them. You all ask the best questions. And if Rachel had a question, I was like, Rachel, please ask because they're going to have, they're going to have that question. And same with all of you. Um, and as I say, from my point of view, like, it's like Stephanie said, go in the VIP group, ask your question, share your results. Um, as Stephanie said in the beginning, like I run our email and our SMS program. So we love seeing what you guys are asking. So then we can actually share those questions, share your results with other people. And it's just going to help more and more people within our community. So please go in the VIP group and share that. Yeah. And that's how when your questions actually allow us to know, like the informational emails, you know, yeah. that's, that's really put so much thought and energy into the little nuggets and the larger blogs and these bigger lives. And these all come and the products we develop, like that all comes from you all and the questions you ask and how you participate and how you contribute especially in that VIP community. It's just so helpful because that's what we want to do here. We want to have a positive impact on your lives. We want to improve your lives. We want to make you feel incredible in your skin. We want to help you find solutions that work for you, products that work for you, the routine that is ideal just for you because 
Rachel's routine is different than my routine. Her skin is different than my skin. And all of you hundreds and hundreds of amazing women who have been in this chat, we all live in different places, have different experiences, different needs, different concerns. Um, and your questions drive so much. And, and it's just amazing. So make sure you're in that community because it's amazing. Um, and it's just, it's, it's just, and it really is myself and Kaylee and our incredible customer service team and Rachel and our head of product development, Aaron, our co-founder, who's been in the chat all night. You know, it's all of us in there and really the, the people that, that are behind the scenes here at GoPure, we go off of your questions and your participation there for all of our efforts. It's really awesome for sure. Um, all right. So are we ready for a Grammar's winner? For this it. amazing, and this has the Firm and Lift Serum, the 10% Niacinamide Booster, the Brighten and Even Serum, the Tighten and Lift Neck Cream, the Advanced Repair Eye Cream, and the Glycopeptide Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizer. This is an amazing, amazing grand prize. And if you love this, maybe we will continue incorporating that into more giveaways while we have it. Supplies are very limited on that. So yes, Linda, I don't have my glasses on. Linda Prestige. 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 See, this is really, this is really. <laughs> There's the look. Linda Prestige, you are the winner of that PR box and all of those goodies. We had so many amazing winners tonight for the new 30% vitamin C dry oil. This has been so much fun. Um, the sale is going on. Are we going to tell people how long they have? I don't know how actually, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I know how long we have. The, yeah, we are telling people the sale will be going through April 28th. So you have time to figure out what you need, what you need to restock on, um, and get that 25% off while it's available. That is amazing. I actually love um, the length of these, because we don't do big sales like this. These are kind of a biannual situation, right? For the bigger, longer sales for us. Um, and I just love that you all have time. I think it's super cool that the code spring 25 is auto applied at checkout. It's 25% off site wide, but you all have time to assess, see what you have, ask questions in the group, see what other people are getting in their experience too. But I would just say, I mean, what I love about this oil is all skin types, all skin concerns. Yes, it's amazing in your night routine, but you can use it in your day routine if you want to incorporate this texture into your day routine. You know, I love this combo for my day routine, the vitamin C booster powder and the oil. And I saw someone ask, I mix this with Dramatically Dewy during the day. So this is my daytime combo. Generally, um, there are like, I probably use this five days a week. And then the other two or so, I do use the Brighten and Even Serum because, again, I have sensitive skin and ascorbic acid is a very potent ingredient. And then I really am using this, at least on a, as a spot treatment, every single night um, and just playing with it on my exfoliation nights, my retinol nights as well. Super versatile. Um, and then I see someone asking about the subscription. Is that just because we're temporarily not having that on because of the sale? Because it would be like a behind the scenes thing for the oil for the oil you can, know, can they, they, get can now. they can get it on subscription okay. it the subscription already does come with 25 percent off oh, so okay. the spring sale does not combine on top of that okay good that's what was maybe being asked awesome when is the next live martha the next live will be later in may because my oldest child is graduating from high school mid-May and I'm going to be like a tearful mess probably <laughs> leading up to May, like May 1st to May 20th. I'm going to be like, um, like the sobbing mother um, and then I will have to pull myself together. So the, I think the plan is um, sometime the week of like the 24th is when we're going to be doing the next big live. But we do try and go live very often, at least on Instagram, if not alternating Instagram, TikTok. So look for us on Tuesdays around like one o'clock Eastern time. And Rachel and I are working together to try and get that more on emails and texts as we have more of a regular schedule with that. Sometimes we have to be flexible with those. But I actually do Q&A sessions on um, TikTok and Instagram 
where you guys can just hop on and ask me questions. And we can just chat about products, about routines, about all of that stuff. And we can just hang out and have an awesome conversation. And that's another reason why it's great to follow us on those channels, because we just have really awesome skincare chats. And we just hang out and you can ask me any, all the questions that you have, but um, in the VIP group, you can do that too. All right. Thank you all for joining us. This has been amazing and it's been so much fun. Um, if you missed any part of this, it will be um, up on our lives page, on our website and on our YouTube channel. And then make sure you sign up for email and SMS notifications so you never miss a thing, whether it be offers, sales, live events, education, all of the fun stuff. Being especially on the SMS list, I would say yes. like, I, I'm always, I'm like, get on the SMS list. Make sure you get text. Just get all the text. You want to really hear stuff first. Yeah. And it just makes it easy to like click through um, a lot of the time too. Well, Rachel, this has been a lot of fun. This was it has. probably my favorite. I haven't had a pajama party in a very long time, but it's I had a great while. time. Did you in the chat? I want to see, did you all have fun? Because I had a great time and I hope Rachel comes back and joins us again because we have so many more amazing things in store the rest of the year that you are not going to want to miss. So like I said, VIP group, email list, SMS list, and hopefully Rachel will be back soon to chat. And I want to, I'm going to have her share her progress in the VIP group with the oil and trying different things. And I want you all to, when you get it, share with us, share your progress, share your results and get, take those before and after pictures because we love them. I mean, that's how we, we know this is working. It's easy to miss progress, especially on dark spots. They have the longest timeline for improvement, um, just depending on especially like the source of them. So take those before and after pictures and let's all share. I know we need matching jammies. Well, maybe we'll have, <laughs> I want us to have go pure robes and jammies. We need it all. We need it all. <laughs> That's what someone said. We all need matching PJs. We do. I know. <laughs> All right. You all have an amazing night. Thank you again, Rachel, for joining Thank me tonight. Thank you. And, yeah, I'm knocking over my stuff. <laughs> this like whacked my moisturizer or my cleanser. All right. We will see you all soon. Bye. Bye.